I'm Nami. I live with my husband and my daughter in kindergarten. I had lots of friends, and one of them was Mao. We got along really well, and our kids were really good friends too. Her son always played with my daughter. Life was pretty good, but the other day, this old man started harassing me. His name was Kusada. He was so arrogant. Move! Get out of my way! I'm the elderly. Who do you think built this country? We had nothing after the war. We built this country from nothing! You have all these nice things because of us! This is basically all he said. He drove his electric wheelchair everywhere and harassed everyone that got in his way. Hey! Get in line like the rest of us. <laughs> yeah, the kids are watching too. Back of the line. Shut up! I'm the elderly. You're supposed to treat me with respect. Be quiet and let me go first. I want to go home and use the bathroom. I'm old. You want me to piss my pants right here? Didn't think so. Move! And at the park... Ah, shut up! You guys are too loud. I can't even take a nap. Shut up! But this is a park. Kids are supposed to play here. <laughs> yeah, your house is more than a hundred meters away. Can you really hear them? I said shut up! I need my naps. I'm old! You guys don't even know that? Idiots! Whenever he got upset, he swung his cane at people. He was trouble. Isn't there anything we can do about him? The other day, someone called the cops, but he acts all innocent in front of the cops, so they can't really do anything. Unbelievable. I wish they would throw him into one of those elderly homes already. Speak of the devil, there he is. I heard you. You guys talking behind my back, huh? Nope. Liar! You looked away when you saw me. You're hiding something. That's it. All you women do is sit around the house and get fat while your husbands are out working. Time to teach you all a lesson. After that, things got even worse. Every time he saw us, he said things like, Look how fat you are. That's what happens when you sit around the house all day doing nothing. And whenever he saw someone who was in shape, he said, Oh, wow. Can I touch? He was unbelievable. We started meeting in our backyards and our homes to avoid him. This worked pretty well. But then, a few days later, I ran into him again. I was at the station. I was going to see my parents. Get out! Move! There he was, harassing people as always. He seemed pissed. In front of him was a pregnant woman. She was on the floor. It looked like she was in pain. You okay? Did your water break? Yes. Please help. It hurts. Please help. I'll call an ambulance right away. Can someone get the station staff? Thanks! Ugh. It hurts! It's okay, you're just going into labor. It's okay, lay down and relax. I placed my hands around her shoulder to help her. Then... I said move! I got things to do! Move, you fat ass! Kusara took his cane out and tried to hit the pregnant woman. Stop that! What are you doing? I protected the lady but didn't feel anything. A man who walked by grabbed his cane for us. Then the ambulance arrived and took her to the hospital. Ah, finally! She's got some nerve getting in my way like that. Her child will grow up to be a failure. That's for sure. Hey, that's enough. <laughs> Shut up. 
You tried to hit a pregnant woman! How dare you! You could have killed them! I yelled at him, but... It was no use. Who do you think you're talking to, huh? I built this country from nothing! I'm a war hero! You should be grateful for the things I've done for this country. How dare you talk to me like that! He was turning red from rage. I tried to say something back, but then... Someone started laughing. <laughs> Did you hear that? Is he serious? I don't think real war heroes talk like that. <laughs> yeah, people with real power don't act like that. I know, right? They're all so humble and polite. They got class, you know? He's clearly a nobody. It's not that hard to tell. <laughs> True that. He's so toxic. What a pathetic old man. I know! He tried to hit a pregnant woman! Unbelievable! You got it on tape, right? Yep, right here. Let's sell it to the TV station. They pay good money for that. Old man goes crazy at a station. Wait, we just post it up on YouTube. <laughs> Great idea! We'll make so much money thanks to this old guy! <laughs> I think they were talking out loud on purpose so he could hear them. Everyone around them just stood in silence and listened. Then, we burst out laughing. Kusara wasn't happy about this, though. What did you say? Huh? You insulting me? How dare you! Oh, crap. Here he comes. We don't have time for this. Bye. If you don't want this video to go viral, don't ever try that again. Wait up! Oh no! Watch out! Ah! He went to tackle the two high school girls, but they moved out of the way. He went flying down some stairs. He hit the ground pretty hard. He wasn't moving. The ambulance came a few minutes later and took him away. A few days later... I heard Kusara is going around his neighborhood and apologizing to everyone with his daughter. What? Why? When he fell down the stairs at the station and got rushed to the hospital, he was beat up pretty bad. His hands and feet are paralyzed now. Oh. So his daughter came to his house to figure things out. Then one of the neighbors told her everything he's done. So that's why they're going around the neighborhood apologizing? Then... They came over to my house. I'm terribly sorry for everything my father did. Um, it's not your fault, but yeah, he was pretty out of control. How dare you talk about me like that? I'm a war hero. Shut up, Dad. If you don't cut the crap, I'm gonna abandon you and leave you somewhere in the mountains. No, please! Please don't! Then apologize! Sorry. That's not good enough! Apologize like you mean it! I'm sorry. <sighs> Just... Don't do it again and stay away from us. And don't try to hit a pregnant woman ever again. He did that? What the hell is wrong with you, Dad? Um, well, uh... Hey, you! Shut up! You haven't learned anything! That's it. I'm done with you. Again, I'm really sorry. He'll never bother you ever again. What? What do you mean by that? I'm paralyzed! I need your help! Please, don't leave me! A few days later, Kusada was gone. I never saw him again after that. His daughter told me that she put him in an elderly home up at the mountains. 
He tried the war hero act there too. But the others were much older than him, so that didn't work. You didn't even go to war. Shut up! Yeah, people like you ruin it for the rest of us. Time to teach you a lesson. I guess that'll teach him. Good riddance. With him gone, things were finally back to normal. Oh, the other day, I ran into the pregnant woman at the park. She had a beautiful baby with her. Thank goodness. Anyways, I hope I never have to deal with someone like him again.